Welcome to the Half Moon Yoga and Art audio blog and podcast. My name is Hannah, and today we're discussing green, yellow, and orange fall transformations. It's that time of year again. The air is cooling, energy is shifting, and I feel myself nesting. I've suddenly had the urge to cleanse my space. Not just deep clean, but completely reorganize my office area, bathroom, and the daunting task of my walk-in closet. I was quickly able to donate five bags of clothing that I've been clinging onto for years, as well as donate art supplies to school teachers. Oftentimes, we have to actively step away or burn our past habits and stuff so that we can make space for new growth. In this area, we build heat to gain the power of I can. A strong third chakra reflects the ability to move forward in life with confidence and power. Therefore, we must keep our core in balance by making conscious choices to choose and act. So Rumi says, set your life on fire, seek those who fan your flames. This third season of the year autumn is a time for letting go and releasing things that have been a burden to make room for reflection and production. Simultaneously, some of my friends were also in the mood to clear out their closets, and Rachel Tabor threw a clothing swap party before we took the remainder of the clothes to the local Goodwill. It's such a blessing to share these experiences with friends, uniting in this often challenging task of letting go. Buddhist teacher Sharon Salzberg, author of Living Spiritual Teachers, writes about letting go. Generosity has such a power because it is characterized by the inner quality of letting go or relinquishing. Being able to let go, to give up, to renounce, to give generously, these capabilities spring from the same source within us. When we practice generosity, we open to all of these liberating qualities simultaneously. They carry us to a profound knowing of freedom, and they are also the loving expression of the same state of freedom. So what has sparked this change? Fall is a season for accepting the impermanence of things. Do you ever wonder why the leaves change colors during the fall season? Autumn leaf color is a phenomenon that affects the normally green leaves of many deciduous trees and shrubs. During a few weeks in the fall season, they turn various shades of red, yellow, purple, black, orange, pink, magenta, blue, and brown. All the colors in the rainbow can be found during the fall season. Leaves change color because trees kill them, explains Paul Hertzler, a horticultural and natural resource educator. The word fall comes from the Old English word foline, which means to fall or die. This radical transformation of color starts with the conscious decision to let go. What do you need to leave behind or do away with in order to move forward and grow? According to Hetzler, as the weather turns cooler, deciduous trees begin to create a waxy layer between the leaf stem and the twig. This prevents any stored nutrients or moisture from reaching the leaves. The pigment that gives leaves their green color, chlorophyll, is the first to fade away. The reds, the purples, and their blended combinations that decorate autumn foliage come from another group of pigments in the cells called anthocyanins that are actively produced towards the end of summer in the sap of the cells of the leaf. Their formation depends on the breakdown of sugars in the presence of bright light as the level of phosphate in the leaf is reduced. When we consume sucrose, the enzyme beta-fructosidase separates sucrose into its individual sugar units of glucose and fructose. Humans need glucose as this simplest form of carbohydrates to support the immune system, immune function, and because it is the primary source of energy for all cells, especially brain cells. Since carbs are important for energy, most of your caloric intake, about 45%, should come from macronutrient. Starch is a carbohydrate formed from the bonding of several glucose units and is most common form of stored energy from plants that is present in the human diet. Starch is a type of complex carbohydrate that takes many steps of transformation in order to break down in our gut. Fire is that part of nature that transforms one state of matter into another. 
Our internal fire lies in our third chakra, the Manapura, in Sanskrit. This yellow sphere swirls like a mini sun behind our navel, representing the light of a lustrous gem as we transform and direct the energy that we consume. Spiritually speaking, our third chakra, solar plexus, is our energy fire center of transformation that aids in the processing of starchy carbohydrates. The energy of this chakra allows us to transform stagnation into action and movement. It places importance in discipline, which comes from the word disciple, meaning the willingness to be a student of something. It requires change and growth. Desire is momentary, but willpower has a larger purpose, the long range effects of our actions. Our will should align with the universe. Will is not aligned with every desire. We must choose which desires are most important in the long run. For example, I may wish to help myself to seconds and thirds of the mashed potatoes or yam casserole, but my greater will refuses to behave in excess and knows that one serving is all the energy I need for this day's actions. My will wants to keep my sugar levels low and my body feeling healthy. It is through our willpower that we exercise and watch what we eat in terms of quantity and quality. We can also use willpower to break ourselves from old patterns and habits and to create new behavior. Starchy vegetables provide approximately 15 grams of carbohydrates per serving. We must use discipline to watch our portions and only consume what is needed for our energy output. When eaten in large amounts, starchy vegetables can contribute to weight gain because the stored energy, which is not burned through exercise, will be converted or transformed into fat, another form of stored energy. Energy must be directed through intelligence, a dance of cause and effect. For fall starchy vegetables, an appropriate portion of pumpkin or butternut squash is one cup, while sweet potatoes or yams are a half of a cup per serving along with a balanced plate of proteins, fats, and other nutrients. Orange represents new beginnings, balance, and enthusiasm. Starchy vegetables are also a good source of fiber. A high fiber diet aids in weight loss and weight management since fiber fills you up quickly and staves off hunger. Moderate portions of starchy vegetables at meals, such as half of a sweet potato or butternut squash, are a nutritious addition to any weight loss plan. Eating a diet rich in fiber can also help lower cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. By excluding foods that contain toxins like gluten and lectins, we can enjoy natural carbohydrate rich foods that are also high in nutrients. Sweet potatoes, for example, are a rich source of vitamin A, which contributes to the growth and repair of the body's tissues and may also protect your skin against sun damage. The intensity of the sweet potato's yellow or orange flesh color is directly correlated to this beta carotene content. Sweet potatoes are also a good source of iron with anti-inflammatory benefits. Sweet potatoes are often harvested between September and December. In fact, this season we call fall was once referred to simply as harvest to reflect the time when farmers gathered their crops for winter storage. These veggies are, are for much more than just Thanksgiving casseroles, and they are certainly more nutritionally dense than their white potato counterparts. Sweet potatoes are native to Central and South America and are one of the oldest vegetables known to humankind. They have been consumed since prehistoric times, as evidenced by sweet potato relics dating back 10,000 years, that have been discovered in Peruvian caves. They have historically been staple foods that provide a lot of energy for labor-intensive needs. In most U.S. grocery stores, you should assume that you are always purchasing a sweet potato, even if the sign says yams. In San Diego, Fresh and Fit Meals provides the perfect size portions for your healthy fall starches, combined with other nutrients to make for a balanced and energetic meal. These chef-inspired meals are made to order fresh, not frozen, with no preservatives, artificial flavors, or sweeteners. The majority of the produce is organic, seasonal, or comes from local sustainable farms. They use cage-free organic chicken and all-natural beef and fresh all-natural chicken. Save time with no shopping, cooking, or cleanup required. 
Simply heat to your preference and enjoy. I try to steer clear from the microwave, so heating my meal on the stovetop is an excellent option. You can sign up for 5, 10, 14, or 21 weekly meals. Choose from over 50 different meals. Receive free or home delivery every Monday at simple pricing with no contracts or hidden fees. And click on the link below to get your fresh and fit meals. Celebrate this fall season by cultivating more energy towards yoga through self-discipline. Check out my four-part course to have fun with yoga. This course is on sale this week only at $12. Four hour long video sequences with detailed instructions and inspirational fall concepts. If you are challenged by facing the time change and cooling weather and you want to explore a fun way to exercise and feel energized, then this course is for you. I designed this course for individuals and families who want to celebrate life, abundance, and themselves by reducing stress and building strength and flexibility for a balanced body. This course consists of four sections, Fall Color and Transition, Celebration of Light through Diwali, Death, Yoga, and the Day of the Dead, as well as Costumes and Identity. In each section, you will find written discussion about the topic, video explanation with key ideas to reflect on, breakdowns of foundation and alignment to keep you safe and activated during key poses, physical yoga sequence video that includes warm-up, sun salutations, key poses, inversions, cool downs, and a final resting pose with music. After completing this course, you will be able to demonstrate physical fun poses that strength, flexibility, and balance, move consciously with your breath, activate and share your light within, and finally become more peace with transitions. Thank you for your interest in my course, and I look forward to hearing more about your path to finding balance. As a reminder to accept transition and carefully transform your energy, purchase some fall leaves yoga leggings. And thank you for listening. Hope you have a great week. Namaste.